So I said, Jerry's coming over, we need to scramble. And I said, oh, scramble, how lovely. I prefer fried, actually. Well, it'd be lovely to see Jerry. Anyway, and he said, no, dash it all, Jerry is coming. You know, Jerry, we need to, we need to, Anyway, that's what is, it happened in the Battle of Britain, you know. Mm. Hi, welcome back. Uh, this is Club at TV, my name is Jared, and today we will be playing Battle of Britain with toy planes. It's exciting. Come and join us at the table. To set up Battle of Britain, place the plotting board in the centre of the table. The RAF player sits to the west and the Luftwaffe player to the east of the board. Each player places their squadron cards in front of them in numerical order from left to right. The Luftwaffe player also has the German target and British production track in front of them. Separate out the colour-coded squadron cards for each player. Shuffle the cards and place the respective groups on the combat ready slot on each squadron board. Each player receives their six dice, white for the RAF and black for the Luftwaffe. Place the game turn marker on turn one on the turn track at the bottom of the plotting track. Place all of the player models on their respective air bases. All of the tokens should be within reach and at the start of the game the Luftwaffe player shuffles the mission deck and deals ten out. From those cards, missions are assigned to each Luftflutter. The rest are kept for later. They also place three fuel tokens on before each one on their board. Simultaneously, the players deal out cards face down for each of their squadrons. Three cards for the RAF and six for the Luftwaffe. The action then begins. The Luftflutters fly across the sea and are detected by the British radar chain. The RAF player then has to decide whether to intercept the incursion or let it through. There are a limited number of intercept and dogfight tokens available during a round. Regardless, a detect token is placed on its squadron flight board. This may not happen if the radar station has been destroyed and the observer corps does not spot them. If they are to be intercepted, they must be within range of a flight. An intercept token is placed on the space along with the respective RAF flight the flutter has to stop when intercepted. The RAF commander can opt to let the invader through and perhaps dogfight them later. In which case the flutter uses up its full movement of 5. If it reaches its target, a bombing run token is placed on the spot and this is resolved later on in the round. The RAF player can also put planes in the air for later. To resolve an intercept, the RAF commander turns over all three squadron cards. Three cards are drawn from Luftflotte, both total up the number of dogfight dice they roll, and roll that many. The number of roundels and crosshairs are added up, and that is how much damage is done on each side. Each side loses squadrons according to the damage inflicted. A whole one will be lost, even if one point of damage has been inflicted upon it. Dogfights are different. Each player flips over a card at random, and the players roll the respective number of dice. If the damage equals or exceeds the hit points of the opponent, that squadron is shot down. The victorious squadron stays and fights again. If it wins, it becomes an ace squadron and can roll an extra die in future combat. For now, it has to disengage. This process is repeated until one side has to retreat or has no squadrons left. If a bomber group reaches its target, roll the number of bomb dice indicated by the total of these numbers. Every round or roll signifies a hit, one hit to take out an airfield or radar station, and three to destroy a city. If they roll across, the RAF player can try to shoot them down with flak guns. The Luftwaffe aircraft then need to return to their bases. All flights lose one full token for each round they are in the air. During the next turn, the RAF player rolls a number of dice according to the number of undamaged cities in their region, plus any bonuses a city has. For every round or roll, they can resupply their groups with fighters or repair airfields or radar stations. The Luftwaffe commander gains more mission cards, one for every squadron that completed or failed its mission. If they were successful, they keep the card. A partial success means the card is placed at the bottom of the mission deck, and if it failed, the RAF commander gains it. Each flight is brought back up to six, and the next round begins. Victory points are gained by both sides in various ways. The one with the most points 
wins. Okay, so we are going to be playing a, a game. A game, yes, a game. A round of Battle of Britain. Now, you may see that down here if you can see it. We've already played two rounds. So this board is currently as it's two rounds in. And uh, Jared and I have been fighting each other. So we've we... also been playing the game as well. Yes. Uh, fights now, whatever. Um, got a black eye from that. Thank you. <clears throat> that was much appreciated. It was, was a very, very timely and nice black eye. Um, so we are going to uh, just stock up. Now, you might not be able to see all these things on the table, but I'm going to ready my squadrons. So just so that people are aware, um, you are currently... The Luftwaffe. The Luftwaffe, the Germans, and you have successfully managed to bomb my radar facility yep. in West Prawl. Um, you've completely bombed Western. Um, and Southampton. And Southampton. Yes. They are now off was, the map. I was very pleased about Southampton. Yes, I am too worried about the fact that you get very excited about bombing Britain. Well, not so much Britain, it's just... I mean, I did have a go at trying to bomb Newcastle. It was only partially successful. I did two points of damage. I need to do three to completely take it off the map. But it was a choice between bombing Newcastle or bombing Middlesbrough. And because Newcastle was closer, I bombed Middlesbrough. Oh, no, I bombed Newcastle. Although I was tempted to... Um, bomb Middlesbrough because a friend of mine is from there and that would really annoy her. But this is by the by. Pre when she was born anyway, isn't it? So Yes, but you could you know, you could always argue that if you could uh if you could bomb the place and then she might never be born. Back to back time. But you've also taken quite... You can see this little pile here. I have managed to successfully prevent some of your missions, which are the red cards, as well as taking down quite a lot of your uh, planes. Yes, some of them were self-inflicted. Bad dice rolling today on your part. Yes, it's normally you who's got the uh, yes. really... Uh, bad. Dice are in my favour. But I, I have been successful. I mean, I have got four missions completed, which is... No small feet in this game. Uh, so well, if you've got small feet, you can't reach the pedal. Two, three, four. Okay, let's go and I'm going to give this to that guy. So what you do in this game is that as the Luftwaffe uh, player, you assign missions to your um, various squadrons. Uh, well, groups of squadrons. So these are. Germans used to call them the Luftflotte. Well, still as they still do. Uh, and then Jared, as the plucky RAF, have to try to defend my incursions into his territory. Places where I'm going to attack. Thank God. Oh, right. Um, advance. Advance. So my guys can move up to five squares. Uh, if we hit one of these radar towers, but this one's been taken out, so I'm going to be able to bypass this. But Jared can make a roll, and if he's successful, will detect you. My the observer core will detect him. So you, I'm going to go one two, and are you going to oh. detect? No, I don't need to because you just pitched into the water. Yes, I just flew my hands into the water. Oh, he does. So I am now Ta detected. So I'm going to put detection. So C is now detected. Now, do you wish to intercept? Scramble, scramble. We are now scrambling. Scramble. Oh, so you're always going to we intercept. We are scrambling some eggs. Right. <clears throat> and the, so flight C is going there. Flight B is going to go. Oh, me, go on, I dare you. Where is that? All oh, right, it's all, all the way over there. Right. Uh, Did you give it to the wrong yeah. squadron? One, two. Right, are you going to intercept? Beep, 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 beep. Um, I... That's a good point. B group. And who is B B is the B's group detected. I think I've got all my squad... Yeah, let's go for it. So, are you going to intercept? I will... 
What are you gonna let me through? And you're gonna I will be out? in a. I'll, let's go into a state of interceptionness. Okay. Right. Oh, I've lost Luftwaffe. Oh, Luftwaffe A is already out. So Luftwaffe A is already out here, and he's trying to go round and do something naughty. Yes, definitely something. So he's here. So he's going to go here. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Uh, so he's lost the fuel. He's lost the fuel. He's lost the fuel. Now, what happens if you run out of intercept tokens? Uh, you can't do anything. Oh, you are having a giraffe. I'm not having a giraffe. They, they only had limited resources. So, uh, so he's going this way. Yeah, um, I will intercept. No, just the once, obviously. Just the once. So you're going to intercept this one there. Which one are you going to do? This one here? Yeah, correct. Okay, so... Oh, flying under the under the radar. Well, yes. Um, <laughs> right, flight A. Uh, so this B flight is going to... Dover? They haven't got Dover on there. Well, obviously, yeah. it's on the map, but they haven't labelled it as Dover. So he's gone one. That's one, two, three. There, uh, stay there. Four. So he's going there. He is. Yes. I'm not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. So no. he's going to go there, and his target is your radar station. I gathered. Uh, yes. So I'm going to try to bomb it in the next opportunity. Good luck. Thank you. Um, you know I don't mean that really, though, do you? No, I know you don't mean oh. it. It's just, <clears throat> it's being insincere. So he's going to go, he's going to go one, two, three. He's trying to fly past the other plane at the moment. Four, yep. So he's going to go there. Are you going to intercept? Or? Dash it all, of course I am. You rogue. Ah, right. I think you would do that. And he's going to, from all the way from Norway, one, two, three, four, five. Now you've run out of, oh, you've got one left. I do have one left. Are you going to intercept or are you going to dog well, fight? Well, you're not a danger this particular turn. Have you got any others that you'll be moving? Mm, no, that's it. That's, everybody's moved. Is that one? Oh, no, that one hasn't moved. No. Flight, <clears throat> I think one. I'd rather intercept him. Where is he? Okay. So he's... He hasn't moved, so he'll go one. Ha ha! I will dogfight you, sir. Is that if I fall into your cunning trap? Okay, this is where the action begins. Woo! At last! This is what you came for. For a minute, I thought you said avast, and so hang on, thematically incorrect here. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I meant aghast! Aghast. <laughs> Tell you how. Right. So um, we're going to start off with this fight here. So I've got flute three A, which is this these guys here, and he's going to intercept me. So I get take the top. Now normally the rule book says that we hit, he chooses these at random, but we just like just go uh, just shuffle them and just take three off the Might top. Might as well because it's random, right? So Jared has got ooh, nine, a whole load of hurricanes. Nine. And in, it's not Hartford or Herefordshire, is it? Because hard, hurricanes are hardly happen in Hartford. Oh, uh, no. Anyway. Uh, and I've got... He's attacking three squadrons of mine. Uh, I've got two HE-111s and a, D, and a Dornier 17. And I've got three dice, as he depicted above here. I've got three, six, nine. Nine. So it should be... Oh, oh so. a lot of self-hitting there. That's, now, this is something I put on rubbish. myself, this little scoreboard. So you've got... <clears throat> oh. I hit myself quite a lot. Yes, yes. Four and two. And two. And then I've got three more to roll. So, so friendly fire. Oh, oh, that's better. That's better. One, two, three. So now I've got to roll. Oh, I don't hit myself, but I hit you. Damn. So uh, I have to take... Oh, right, so five points of damage in each, so I lose all three of these planes. And I lose two of mine. So I've you six. six. So I so you put those away and I get another two points of hitting. Right, so that one's 
resolved. So flight A. Um, so we've got a dog fight here, which. Uh, ah, with who? With whom? With whom? With, with, so you've got with whom? Group eleven, flight C. Flights of the Navigator. And I've got Flute 2A. Right. And this uh, is a dog fight. So the way this works is different. You take the top one off. Oh, so yes. You're doing, a, yeah. you're doing ah, an insect. Yeah. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Sorry. Right, so give me a shuffle. Okay, three. Right, I, you've got a Hurricane versus a JU88. So I've got one attack. Ah. And you hit me once. And I, hit, and I hit you once, well, so nothing really happens. Still in the fight. So... 10 eh? 10 eh? Right here. And I've got flot C. Ooh, flot yeah. 2 C. Right. And we're going for another intercept. Ooh. How much damage? How much? Ooh. And three more. Are you, are you shooting yourself again? Right, I've got... I'm shooting into the air, waiting for you to uh, fly straight into the bullets. Bullets. <clears throat> That's not a very good tactic. But I've got, excuse me, I've got eight in total here. Yep. So I've got a bomber squadron and two fighter squadrons. So here's going to be six. Oh, oh, look at that! Dear Lord. Six. And I've got another two more. Oh, I can't believe it! Ten. Smack. So that's basically your whole. That is my whole. Your whole flight. The whole thing. Um, you got four. Yes. I have. Yes, I have. And so I would lose one because I would lose lose my BF one oh nine. Yeah, that's better than losing the whole of the squadron. And that was fruit C. Well done, chappies. Well done. That is the end of the combat. Now you can um, roll to see how much damage that I've done that you can repair. I can, you're quite right. Um, so for that section, group 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to roll nothing there. Oh, one. one. Uh, so, so group 10, group 10. I've, how many planes do you want back? Or you can have your radar station back. Uh, Oh, down here? Yes. That's probably better. Are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. So it's West Prowl. <clears throat> and then 11 group, which is here, down in... <gasps> South East. Ten. Because I've bought South Mountain. Ten. None. Six. Another four. And one. One. Um, so... One plane. One plane. You can choose which one you want. Yeah, I have. Yes. Um, group 12. 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's quite a lot. Is that 11, that one? That's Oops. 11. Two. One. And now five. One. one. Uh, I've already got everybody back. Is there... You could have that one oh, back. Give that you can repair. Yay! Darn! Hooray! <laughs> and then four for the last... 13. 13. Except one. Got, yeah, but. Oh, you got your back. Hooray! Okay, so. That was that one. That is one round. And uh, that's roughly how the game is played. <laughs>
for you is obsolete ooh. So, brilliant. So, but yeah, so carrying on with your ooh. 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 <laughs> yes. So I got really excited, saw this thing at the UKGE and saw the pieces on the board and thought it looks one of the plotters map. And I had a chat with a guy and I thought, can we get this back here and review it? Mm. And th then I started playing it and then I was sadly disappointed. Yeah. Uh, I think you said that it feels that it's this game, it, this is the second printing of this game, and you said that it feels like a prototype. So just talking about the components for a second, yes, the whole thing feels like, oh, this is a pretty good prototype. I could see where they're going with this. When they finally actually publish it, it I bet it will look absolutely amazing. And then you said, oh no, this is actually, this is the finished product of like, Oh, okay. Mm. Very fiddly with some of the tokens. Um, the uh, airplanes that sit on the little... Um, on the stands. On the stands, the stuff, the stands. They, they kind of they fall off. You've had to try and glue them, but if, even then they've still yeah, kind of I mean, fallen off. Do, but like, sometimes it becomes really frustrating to try to find a stand that fits in. Yeah. Now, this is fine. This now, the, the planes themselves, they're fine. Yeah, the um, models are I'd, fine. I'd imagine uh, once you actually painted them, they'd look pretty good. They could still be a, probably a slightly better quality, but overall, they do, yeah, they do, they the, do job. the job. Um, but the stands, I think, I mean, the, the little... Um, the little tags on them to sort of say which uh, squadron they're from and which section, etc. The writing is very, very tiny. Yes. I would prefer to see like either the whole stand or at least the whole base in that color, with, color with, coded. With, with color coded with bigger text. And then just with a see. color coded, and then just with a letter, and then it would be <clears throat> would be far better. Yeah, dice are nice. Um, yes, dice. dice um, nice. The fact nice. that you've got uh, three of your Attack the one you're trying to attack, the three sides that you're trying to attack is good on it, and a couple of blanks, and then one for um, accidentally hitting your own squadron. And yeah. um, so, I like the ratio on the dice and stuff like that. Wish there were more yes. dice because you have to keep on re rolling all the extra ones once you've had a look at your squadron to see who you're fighting with. Mm. You need extra dice typically for them. That leads me on to the squadron actually. The whole fact that this when you play. Your squadron, it's blind. You don't know who is in your squadron, which just seems daft yeah. from a commanding perspective. You, go fight over there, respond to them. I don't know who you are. Who's in your squadron? I have no idea. Yes. That doesn't make any thematic sense at all. No. I mean, I had one where I was playing at the Luftwaffe and I was trying to bomb a city. And then I turned the cards over. And there was no bomb. Well, no, just there, one bomb. There was one bomber squadron of JU-87s, Stuka bombers. And they were dive bombers. They're not carpet bombers like the JU-88s mm -hmm. and the, the HE-111s. And I just kind of thought, hang on a sec, I wouldn't have sent this particular makeup of planes <clears throat> to bomb a city. Yeah. Uh, I would rather I could like perhaps have four bomber squadrons and then two with, with a couple of fighter escorts that would have been far more logical uh, and you can't do that in this game so i like this game and so i like the idea of this game the idea of the game definitely but i so don't we're trying to do it yeah. just needs a bit more polish to it i mean i put some for subsequent play of this game i'm going to tweak the rules so you can look at the cards yeah. And you can tweak your squadrons. Yeah, that would be really, really beneficial. And also, like, the missions. Sometimes you get the missions and it's like, you you get loads of missions up north and you've got, but all your squadrons are down south. So it's very hard to mitigate for that. Okay, you get dealt quite a few mission cards at the beginning, but it can get to a situation where you can't physically, you don't have the range. But it also seems like Germany are having all the fun. Yes. Even all the tactics and the missions and trying to get into Britain and how they're going to do it. And Whereas the RAF, they're just sitting there responding. So as a player commanding the RAF, I'm literally just, oh, where are you going? Oh, I'll, I'll just react to that then, shall I? And how many dice do I roll? Right, I'll just roll those dice, resolve those dice, that's the end. Wait for the next wave to come. Yeah. From an RAF perspective, it's a pretty pretty boring, just reactive. Whereas your side looks a bit more tactical, looks like that's where all yes. the fun is, I'd rather be on the German side. So, that's a big niggle on that side, it just seems like 
why is one person having fun and the other one is just mm. reacting dice rolling? Unfortunately, that is how it was. And so thematically... <laughs> thematically speaking, it's correct. It makes a lot of sense. Yes. But game-wise, you don't want that in a game. You want a, both parties actually having fun. Yeah, you were talking about perhaps being able to preempt where the Germans are going to attack. Yeah. Sending out patrols. I don't know. Yeah. Just... It needed something extra, I yeah. think, for the RAF side, just to be a bit more fun. So our, our general feeling about this game is... Lots of potential. Yes, it could have been a bit more polished, could have been a really good game. Just uh, just feels like it's in the prototype stage. It just yeah. feels like they're in the testing stage and they just needed just a few more polish with regards to some of the mechanics and some of the components, really. Yeah. But um, I like where... If, if it was a, in, in its prototype stage, I like where it was going, but um, yeah. yeah. So that's it for now? That's it for now. That's it for the Battle of Britain. Yes. Well, it was that a was long time. time. Yes. Very Ages long. ago. Yes. Feels like years. It was. Anyway, that's it for Club TV today. Thank you very much for tuning in. All right. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.